Hello, my name is Ann Schultz, and this tutorial is directed at introducing you to the Narrator Screen Reader program. This is a screen reader that was built into most Microsoft products by Microsoft. This particular tutorial is going to focus on uh, Narrator as it appears in Windows 7. The general overarching purpose of this training module is to educate and prepare users to become more efficient and effective at navigating and manipulating a particular accessibility feature on a PC computer. Accessibility tools are often also called assistive technologies, and these technologies provide an opportunity for individuals with disabilities to gain greater independence. For example, assistive technologies allow those with disabilities to obtain access to important government information and services online, to access employment and educational opportunities on the Internet, and to engage in everyday activities like reading a book or shopping on their computers. The U.S. Census Bureau has indicated that nearly 20% of Americans have some sort of disability, so almost one quarter, and the percentage of those affected increases to 75%, or three quarters, for those over the age of 80. Disabilities can be related to vision, hearing, cognition, and or mobility. The specific purpose of this training module is to teach users how to access and use Narrator, Microsoft's built-in screen reading program, as well as to change the voice settings of this tool. Narrator reads aloud text and gives user inf users information about objects on the computer screen. This can be an especially valuable tool for persons who suffer from visual impairments. Visual impairments can include limited vision, color blindness, and blindness. Screen readers allow users to hear, rather than read, the contents of a computer screen or web page. Screen readers are limited in that they can only read text, not images or animations. Consequently, in an ideal world, all images and animations would be accompanied by text descriptions, also known as alternative text or alt text, that are comprehensible to screen readers. In this particular case, our work group has been asked to design a tutorial on Microsoft Narrator, which is one of the accessibility features available on the personal computers used in our library. This tutorial will appear on the library's website and will allow users to learn how to use this built-in screen reader. In order to maximize the benefits of using Microsoft Narrator, it is helpful for users to know how to access the tool as well as how to change its voice settings. While the majority of the group is quite skilled in using Microsoft's accessibility tools, there are a few members who are unfamiliar with the specific procedures for accessing and using Microsoft Narrator. This unit is designed to help train those few group members who need to brush up on these skills. The target audience for this training is information professionals working in a library environment, as well as library patients who, patrons who want to learn more about the accessibility features of a Microsoft PC. This tutorial will also be available on the library's website for review. The functions addressed in this module are twofold. They include locating and accessing Microsoft Narrator, as well as reviewing and changing the voice settings of Microsoft Narrator. These match up quite closely with the learning goals and objectives of this tutorial. By the end of this module, you will be able to locate and access Microsoft Narrator on your computer and to review and change the voice settings of Microsoft Narrator. Microsoft Narrator is a light duty built-in screen reader. While it is not as robust as a heavy duty full functioning screen reader, it can still be helpful for individuals with visual impairments. Narrator reads what is displayed on a computer monitor. This includes the content of the active window, menu options, and typed text. Narrator was originally created to work with Notepad, WordPad, Control Panel Programs, Internet Explorer, the Windows Desktop, and some parts of Windows Setup. Because of the way it was designed, Narrator may not read words aloud correctly in other programs. This tutorial will provide step-by-step -step instructions regarding how to locate and access Microsoft Narrator, as well as how to review and change the voice settings of the program. So we are going to start with step-by-step -step instructions to locate and access Microsoft Narrator on your computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is close out of PowerPoint, and now you are at the basic Windows 7 uh, screen and you want to go down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen. This can be a little bit hard to see um, because of the way that that this 
appears on your screen, but what you're looking for is a multicolored flag-like icon that is encircled um, in kind of a white circle. That is the Microsoft logo key and you want to select the Microsoft logo key and this brings up your main menu and you are looking for a choice called all programs. You are going to click on all programs and then go all the way up to the top here to the folder labeled accessories. You're going to click on accessories and then you're going to scroll down this list and you will see a folder called ease of access. You want to click on ease of access and the ease of access folder contains five different items. We have the ease of access center which is where all the accessibility tools are located for Microsoft Windows 7. The magnifier, this is a um, a tool that will magnify the screen. It is particularly helpful for people with visual impairments. Then we have the narrator and this is what we're going to focus on in our tutorial. The narrator reads text aloud so it helps people who can't necessarily see the screen um, but it will read the text aloud so that they can know what, what's on the screen. We have an on-screen keyboard which can be particularly helpful for people with mobility impairments such as people with arthritis or even people with temporary disabilities who maybe just have broken uh, their hand or their wrist. Um, and then we also have Windows speech recognition. So again this can help if you have a mobility impairment um, or any uh, some other kinds of disability as well. It will allow you to uh, speak into your computer and then to basically control your computer using your own voice. In this particular instance, we want to go up to the Ease of Access Center icon, which is a person in a wheelchair surrounded in a blue circle. We're going to click on Ease of Access Center, and this takes us to this kind of hub where all of the different tools are located that can make it easier for you to use your computer if you have any sort of an impairment, whether that impairment be visual or hearing related or cognitive or uh, mobility. So the main four, the, the quick access common tool for are the magnifier, the on-screen keyboard, the narrator, and then high contrast. But then there's also um, several other choices that you can make here. Uh, if you're not sure where you should even start, they have a helpful link here called Get Recommendations to Make Your Computer Easier to Use. And this will kind of take you through a little um, kind of quiz almost where you answer questions about um, different issues might, you might be having. And then it will make recommendations for you based on your answers. And then some of the other settings that are available are using the computer without a display. So this says optimize for blindness, uh, make the computer easier to see so you can optimize the visual display, use the computer without a mouse or a keyboard so you can set up alternative input devices, again, particularly helpful for people with mobility issues, make the mouse easier to use, again, you can change the way that the mouse is used if you have trouble using your hands, make the keyboard easier to use, use text or visual alternatives for sound so if you have hearing difficulties and maybe you would rather see a picture or see a flash uh, instead of uh, relying on your your hearing to know that something has happened you can make that change there and make it easier to focus on tasks uh, this is actually to help people with attention issues, so cognitive type of impairment, um, and you can adjust settings for reading and typing. Um, this can help you if you have trouble uh, paying attention, um, can help people who've had a stroke or a head injury. So again, what we are particularly interested here is narrator. And as soon as I click on start narrator, and it says here narrator reads aloud text on the screen, so you can see that kind of pop-up box. Uh, but as soon as I start narrator, narrator will start talking. Um, she won't sound as loud to you as she sounds to me, but if I make any pauses, it's because I'm listening to the narrator speaking um, and before I talk again. But so we're going to select start narrator. And immediately the narrator starts speaking and what the narrator does is basically tell you exactly what you're looking at. So this is the Microsoft Narrator menu dialog box. 
and it contains options um, across these tabs here, File, Preferences, and Help. Within the File section, you have the choice of exiting the Microsoft Narrator. Within the Preferences section, there are seven different options, including Voice Settings, Echo Users Keystrokes, Background Message Settings, Element Auto Monitor, Announce System Messages, Announce Scroll Notifications, and Start Narrator Minimized. And then finally, this tab Help has further documentation on the Microsoft Narrator, and then also the About Narrator section where you can get more details on the program. Now this dialog box here also says Narrator will read aloud what is on screen as you navigate using the keyboard. It's basically giving you a description of exactly what Narrator does. And then it also lists the main narrator settings, and there are four, echo users keystrokes, and this would be if, as you are typing or um, as you're holding down keys, it will tell you what you're doing. So if you hit control, alt, print screen, it will say control, alt, print screen. Um, announce system messages is basically going to take messages that would normally be displayed in text visually, and it's going to say those aloud. The same with announce scroll notifications. And then start narrator minimize is just going to minimize the start box for the narrator. You also have this hyperlink here that says control whether narrator starts when I log on. And you can use this so that if you need narrator on all the time, you can set it so that it will begin as soon as your computer boots up. And then finally, at the bottom of this menu dialog box there are three buttons and I'm not sure if you can see them because they're very close to the bottom of the screen but the three buttons are quick help where you can get some fast answers to some questions you might have voice settings which is the one we're going to use in just a second and then exit if you want to quit the program so we're going to go to voice settings and we are going to select the voice settings button and as soon as we uh, put our cursor over it it's highlighted in blue letting us know that we have selected that. We we'll click on that and it opens another box this is the voice settings narrator menu box and this gives us some options of things that we can change in the voice settings. First we have select voice and our choice here is Microsoft Anna English United States for some languages, there are more than just one choice. Unfortunately, currently for United States English or American English, you only get the choice of Microsoft Anna. So maybe in the future they will offer other alternatives like they do on, on uh, GPS systems where you can have a British person speak to you or you can download a celebrity voice and have them speak to you. But unfortunately, right now, the only, uh, the only choice we have for voice is Microsoft Anna. The other three uh, potential settings here do give us some more flexibility. These are set speed, and this actually controls the speech rate, so how fast the narrator will speak. Um, and the choices are a numeric value between 1 and 9. Um, the higher the number, the faster the rate of speech. Similarly, we have set volume. Again, you have nine options. The higher the number, the louder the volume. And set pitch will has to do with the tone of the voice, and the higher the number, the higher the pitch of the voice. So again, here these are all set to five. Um, you can change these to anything you want. You just um, click on the drop down arrow. Let's just change them all to six. So we'll do set speed at six, set volume at six, and set pitch at six. So as soon as you've uh, selected what you want and you're happy with your settings, um, there are two options here, two buttons at the bottom of the voice settings narrator dialog menu box and those are OK and cancel. We're going to select OK and that brings us back to the main Microsoft narrator menu dialog box. And so we're, we're finished with our voice settings and the other choices we have here are of course quick help, voice settings and exit along the bottom of the screen. Because we're done now we want to exit so we are going to click on the exit button. This opens another window called Exit Narrator, and it asks us, are you sure you want to exit Narrator? Gives us two options, yes or no. Um, we are finished with what we came here to do, so we're going to say yes. And that closes 
the the narrator dialog box down. So now we're back here. Um, this control panel we don't need anymore, so we can just exit out of that. And that really shows you how simple it is to make some changes that will enhance the accessibility of your computer, of your PC computer. So I want to congratulate you. You now know how to access and use Microsoft Narrator to hear the contents of your computer screen read aloud and how to change the settings of this helpful tool. Using these techniques, you will be able to make your computer easier to use or to help a patron uh, who may have some, some issues and who might need these accessibility settings. The works referenced in creating this tutorial were several documents online. Uh, what is accessibility from adobe.com? Accessibility in Windows 7 from Microsoft.com. Here, text read along with narrator in Microsoft.com. Turn on and use narrator from Microsoft.com. And the entry for Microsoft Narrator on Wikipedia. I want to thank you for your attention and for taking the time to learn about Microsoft Narrator. I hope that you now know more about this tool and that you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.